for the serious gamer. Hey, what's up, freaks? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our super fast win series, and this is Sabotage and Invasion. Uh, we're just basically not fooling around here. We're not sitting back getting kills, trying to get kill streaks. We just grab the damn bomb uh, and rush that, rush, plant it, uh, and get the job done. We're not here to freaking screw around. If we wanted lots of kills, we would go on deathmatch, which is the objective of the game. Now, you notice here, even though I've got the bomb, yes, you know, we want to go as fast as possible, but you still have to play smart. And with tactical insertion, of course, you know, you want to keep pushing the bomb up. But if you're, if you're not playing smart, like, such as placing a tactical insertion somewhere, somewhere not in the middle of, some, you know, a place where they're going to just cancel it out, um, you know, if they kill you, you're going to end up spawning way back on the other side, and they could, you know, potentially grab that bomb and bring it back. So, like here, I mean, I, I got killed, but because I placed that tactical insertion, I don't have to freaking worry about it too much. I'm still relatively close. Oh, someone I think cancelled it. Look at that. Made me look like a jackwad. So what you want to do is place the tactical insertion relative- This guy. That guy should die. He probably freaking cancelled it. I don't know. Someone did. In general terms though, okay? You all can jump down my throat for that one. Like, you're an idiot. You said that, uh... You know, so that you could play close and then you end up spawning halfway across the map. Well, yes, that's not the plan though. They... Some guy was sneaky sneaky, but generally, you want to place that tactical insertion down and get in there. And the other thing, I know some of you were like, yeah, well, you know what, what happens if I'm not playing with an actual team? Because granted, I mean, I'm playing with NGT, and these dudes know what they're doing. So, I mean, when we say we're going to rush, the entire team rushes, sets up a perimeter, a uh, defensive perimeter, and we usually have the place on lockdown, we'll win the game, like this one's going to be over in two seconds. Um, so, uh, anyway, let's see what the next one is, and I'll go on to that after. Okay, we're on Karachi. My Karachi is itchy. Anyway, so we're on Karachi. The whole thing about not having a team, because if you're on a random team, yeah, you're going to have people that sit back, that don't do crapola. You're going to have people at the spawn area that absolutely do nothing. They're just sitting back trying to freaking get kills. They think that they're defending, but they're actually kind of more or less hurting the team because if everyone pushes forward, like we're doing here, and you'll see, again, with the uh, tactical, that was a horrible placement. I just placed it just in case. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I don't have time to actually, uh, you know, find a really good spot. As long as it's down, at least that'll help out a little bit. What the hell am I shooting at? Oh, well, we'll find out if my tactical insertion got cancelled here. Uh-oh, oh, oh, they defused, but hopefully, and my team's there. Damn it, I think they destroyed it. So anyway, I was lucky there. They're obviously stomping it out. My That was a stupid tactical insertion anyway, so no worries. And maybe if this one's close enough and in the war zone, they're not going to waste their time trying to friggin' cancel that one. Maybe the other one was easy for them to hit. Uh, and you can learn from my stupid mistakes. That's two in a row. Awesome. Yes, I did it on purpose so that you could learn. Yeah, no. Not really. Anyway, uh, before I go all squirrely here, we're talking about teams that sit back and everything like that. Regardless as to whether or not the teams are sitting back uh, and not really helping you out at all, you still should be pushing forward. The only thing that I can suggest, really, uh, if you have a buddy, at least get one other person. Surely you've got another friend out there, and if you don't, well, there's not much I can do to, to help you with that, because if you're on a team of misfits, it's going to be very, very difficult to get the job done. However, if you have a teammate, work, you know, work as a team. Use tactical insertion and, and get in there and make sure that you, you know, you move together. And make sure you grab that bomb the second that some dweeb or doorknob grabs a bomb and camps it somewhere. You know, I don't care. I'll even friggin' fire off my unsilenced weapon to bring the enemy close to that guy. Because, you know what? That's some bullcrap. You're gonna grab the bomb, go and plant the damn bomb. Don't be sitting around trying to rack up kills. Get the job done. Now, in this one here, on Quarry, I like to take the actual bomb on the outside. I think this... Oh, this coming, route here is pretty safe, Dude, but regardless back. as to whether or not the route is safe, you really need to sort of coordinate uh, with your team where they're going. Like right now, my team, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Sometimes they piss me off too. 
you know, they don't always follow I'm it. And I was like, guys, like where are you guys doing? Oh, I was spawning. You know what? Not everybody was spawning, and they were on the other side of the map. I didn't see any movement. So if you guys are watching that, that was bullshit. You guys should have been hauling your ass over there. It was like me and one other person. I didn't remember who it was there. But everyone else wasn't there? That's some bullshit. I'm not a rusher. I am pretty damn slow. But anyway, enough chastising my own friggin' amazing team. Uh... <laughs> for everyone else to see so again you know tactical insertion you can see I have it on almost every single time keep pushing to that bomb here keep pushing and keep making sure that you you pound on that and when you can uh, of course there's freaking rockets everywhere you can't escape it you all know how it feels with rockets they're cheap they work yes they work but you know whatever not everyone respects their game not everyone uh, wants to actually show that they have some skills, so. But we still beat them anyway, so, you know, rockets or not, you know, the good guys win and the douchebags lose. Booyah! Look at that! Ha ha ha! You can take your RPG and shove that thing up your. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we're moving on. Let's move on. Oh, rundown. Sometimes, too, when I'm playing this, if you're new to Sabotage, um, and when I first started playing some of these, because in all honesty, I don't play a lot of Sabotage, Headquarters, um, Capture the Flag, or any of those things. I'm usually a search and destroy and deathmatch kind of person. And it's usually just because, you know, people piss me off with the rockets, grenade launchers, and the spam. They kind of ruin it. Unless it's in a tournament, or, uh, you know, you agree to play a clan privately and turn that shit off, uh, then, you know, then I wouldn't mind. It would be kind of fun. But anyway, generally what I'm going to do uh, as a tip, uh, if you're new to this sort of thing, sabotage the bomb is always, always in the middle. And if you're not exactly sure where it is, it's always a good idea before the match even begins, hit your map button and then at least see where it is. So you can quickly take a look, say, okay, you know, what am I going to do? Maybe throw some smoke on there, grab it, and then take an alternate route. If they, the enemy sees you coming, you know, especially with the bomb, if you're running with the bomb, uh, for a few seconds, change directions because while they can see who's carrying the bomb and where the actual bomb is, it's not like constantly updated. There's a lag, so sometimes that can throw them off. So as you grab the bomb, run for a few seconds straight in a certain row so that they're they're tracking you. Then dart like turn sharp left, sharp right, and then go that way. I mean, don't go away from the bomb target, but you know what I mean. Change your route up so it throws them off a little bit, and it will throw them off. Because a lot of times they're going to be watching that radar. They're going to be watching the map. Oh my goodness, is Rundown done, done already? Brilliant. And that's it. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.